Josh Einstein from SaveJersey.com. With us today is Mr. Ben Case, a member of the Organization for a Free Society, a participatory socialist organization that does grassroots activism and education. Ben has also been active as a participant and organizer with the Occupy Wall Street movement. He has a Master's of Public Administration from NYU and has worked as a correspondent for the Interpress Service Newswire at the United Nations. He volunteers with the Restaurant Opportunity Center in New York and is an independent writer. He is also a professional Muay Thai boxer and trainer in Hoboken, New Jersey. He lives in Jersey City and is originally from Hoboken. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Uh, so our first question is, what would you say to the critique of the OWS and in general left movement that it was a movement for larger government, uh, from student loan forgiveness uh, to more government work programs to a generally increased welfare state? Well, there's, um, there's something to that, but I think that that, that critique kind of misses the point. Um, <clears throat> the, the point is, is a, a more equal, more fair, more just, more participatory society. Um, and then how we go about that is the question. So uh, in, certain, in certain instances, um, it makes sense to, to have government intervention, right? In the situations where we really have a sense of urgency. I mean, we want to provide, we want to provide certain things to everyone. Like, you know, in a country that's, that's as wealthy as ours, uh, everyone deserves food, everyone deserves housing, everyone deserves medical care, um, everyone deserves an equal shot at education. Um, and so uh, there's probably better ways to provide a lot of these services than our government goes about it now. Um, but again, there's, there's a sense of urgency. People are hurting and, and need help. And so in, in the short term, sometimes the best way to go about that is through um, the avenues that, that currently is, exist in the government. And so in, in some of those instances, we might, um, we might favor, favor what you'd call larger government. So, for example, um, expanding public housing or, or, or you know, uh, restrictions or taxing uh, major corporations or things of that nature. Okay. Uh, second question, and I'm sure there are many things that you touched on in the first question that will be addressed by later questions, sure. but sort of uh, broadening the scope to uh, take in the movements uh, of protest around the world mm -hmm. is what about, uh, and we've, you know, anyone that's watched the media has heard a, a constant and consistent comparison uh, of the Occupy Wall Street movement and its, and its sort of uh, seed movements ar around the country uh, to the Arab Spring. Uh, do you feel that there's a substantive difference uh, between uh, a protest movement happening around the world against despotic dictators uh, and a political movement happening, protesting particular policies in a democratic nation? Sure. I mean, there, there's absolutely differences between between the Arab Spring and, and Occupy Wall Street movements, um, and that comes from. I mean, the the, the situations on the ground uh, in countries like Tunisia and Egypt and Bahrain and Syria and, and these countries uh, is materially different from situations that we have in, in the United States. Um, so, of course, our our social justice movements are going to look different, um, <clears throat> but there's some there's also some similarities. I mean, the Arab Spring grew out of a out of a, a real anger about about um, alienation from the political systems, from decision making, and um, exclusion from the economic pie, so to speak. Uh, and those are those are um, those are things that are felt by people in the U.S. too. And because again, the the situations we're in are different, our movements are going to look different. But but we also we support each other's fighting for similar for for you know similar beliefs. Uh, and we can inspire each other that way too. Okay. Uh, so, you know, we, we touched on uh, housing and food and medical issues, and just now you mentioned a term, uh, social justice. Mm -hmm. uh, so, getting back to at home, our, our issues here, uh, from your perspective, in your own words, what do you think caused the current uh, economic uh, recession? Uh, well, I mean, you know, our economy is incredibly complex, and um, that's part of the problem in and of itself. But so there's there's kind of complicated answers and simple answers, I guess, to that. Uh, and and like most people, I don't I don't know everything there is to know about our economy. Um, but from my perspective, <clears throat> it has to do with uh, with the culture that grows out of out of what we call Wall Street, which doesn't necessarily mean the physical place Wall Street. Um, but uh, this culture of um, 
of making money off of pure transactions. So <clears throat> less of this uh, Adam Smith type capitalism you might think of where it's, you know, uh, start a business and I want to make tires. You know, and I'm going to make the best tires out there and people are going to like my tires and so they're going to come to my tire place and I'm going to expand and then take over factories and then, you know, uh, and then make money off of that. Um, and really want to be in the tire business and that's what I'm doing and I deserve to be rewarded for that. That's not really uh, what's going on in, in terms of a lot of the wealth that's generated in our system. It's this idea of, you know, a good example is, is private equity firms, right, who they're going to buy a business uh, and then tinker with it and then sell it for a huge profit, uh, never looking to hold on to it. They don't want to make it a better business necessarily. They're looking to turn a profit. And if they make it a better business, that's, that's sort of a side issue. And a lot of times those businesses collapse after they let them go because they do all this downsizing and whatnot um, <clears throat> to restructure it to get investors excited to sell it again. Um, and so, and, and the culture on Wall Street is just about, you know, if you, the more value you add, the better it is. So the more profit you're making, the better. And that's gonna lead to cutting corners, it's gonna lead to blurring lines and uh, in order to, to make the most profit. And, and you know, in a, in a broad sense, I think that's the problem. And that's what led to the more specific issues in terms of the housing bubble and the credit bubble bursting. Okay, so on the, uh, specifically, the housing bubble, um, you know, focusing in on that for a moment, was over-regulation, i.e. the mostly Democratic, but still had some Republicans, so it was uh, bipartisan, pressure on Franny and Freddie Mac to ensure subprime mortgages the cause, or at least a contributing factor in the economic collapse? Um, I, I mean, I think the term over, I would, I would disagree with the term over-regulation, uh, certainly inappropriate regulation. Uh, and and the, the types of regulation that were in place were weren't working, and so uh, I'll give you that. And whether whether or not we want to pin that on the Democrats, I'm I'm fine with with that. Um, that but, was technically bipartisan. <laughs> there were, there were it was a minority, but too many Republicans involved with that. So sure. Well, I, I, again, it's I'm I'm um, unconcerned with which party we we blame that on, um, but. Uh, I wouldn't call it over-regulation because if, if you think about it, if, if it was regulated much more, for example, if um, if if uh, uh, subprime mortgage, like if, if um, what do they call it, the uh, adjustable rate mortgages, and uh, you know all these predatory lending practices weren't legal, uh, and there were hard and fast rules about that without the loopholes we have, we might not be in the situation right, and that's more regulation. So I don't think it was over-regulation um, that caused it. It was it was inappropriate regulation. Um, you know, the whole shadow banking system uh, has all sorts of stuff going on uh, that, that's extra legal, um, that's not regulated, and, and it allows, again, as I said before, it allows this culture of... of